Hi, and welcome back to Chemistry Videos with me, Clarissa Sorensen Unruh. We are continuing our discussion about exchange reactions. And last time we had this long video to talk about the complete ionic equation and the net ionic equations and such. And we came up with this reaction. It's a precipitation reaction because it forms a precipitate. The uh, other kind of exchange reaction we often talk about is an acid-base neutralization. And the acid-base neutralization, instead of forming a solid, forms water. And water is the only one out of the entire list of molecules you could possibly know. That's the only one you have to know as a liquid. Okay? So, because it's inappropriate to call water AQ, because water doesn't really dissolve in water, it's just water. Okay, so in terms of thinking about it, what we're going to do here is we're going to do the fast way for figuring out the net ionic equation and the spectator ions. What we know is we know the net ionic equation describes the formation of a solid, liquid, or gas. When I say it describes the formation of a solid, liquid, or gas, that means that it has to be formed, right? So it has to be on the product side, and you're looking for the S, L, or G. If you take that down, the other piece of a net ionic equation is that it has to be an ionic equation. There's a reason why it's called an ionic equation. So, because it's a net ionic equation, I need to tell what two ions make that up. And what two ions make up? Aluminum chromate, well, aluminum, and chromate. <laughs> the two ions that make that up. It's pretty awesome kind of appropriate, in fact. And I need to tell how many of each of these I have in this formula, right? So I have, if I look at the big number in front times, the, or the stoichiometric coefficient, times the subscript. The subscript here tells me that I have two ALs, right? And I have three CRO4s. And suddenly, I have my net ionic equation already written down, OK? This only works. I call it the quick and dirty way of doing the net ionic equation. And it only works if you have this pattern of both reactants being AQs, one of the products as an AQ, and the other one as something other than an AQ, so an S, L, or G. Okay? If I wanted to figure out what the spectator ions are, I simply look at what's left in the end in solution. And if I'm looking at what's left in the end in solution, I'm looking for a product that has an AQ by it. If I look at the product with an AQ by it, all that I have to do here is I recognize that the product with an AQ by it is sodium nitrate. I tell what two ions made that up, right? So Na plus one and NO3 minus one are the two ions that made up sodium nitrate which is my AQ product, okay? So spectator ions, if you have this particular pattern in your reaction, spectator ions are given by the AQ product. Net ionic equation is given by the S, L, or G product. And that is the quick and dirty way of doing <laughs> an exchange reaction, net ionic equation, and spectator ions if you have the balanced chemical equation to begin with. All right, until next time. I bid you adieu. Have a wonderful day.